If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm coming to y'all delivering this video. I'm a little hurt right now, man. My, my feelings are a little hurt, man. Y'all know my boy, Eastside Pitbull Cruz. You know, he just suffered a, a, a defeat, man. You know, he lost his 140-pound belt, man, to Jose El Rayo Valenzuela. You know, uh, man, that, that just hurt me. But I, I said this, though, leading up to this fight. I said that this fight is the most competitive fight on the card. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I didn't say it was quite 50 50, but I, I would say it's like 51 49, you know what I'm saying, in favor of Pitbull. And, and Ryo did his thing, you know. I can't knock Ryo, you know. I don't think it was a robbery or nothing like that. But I will be honest, I did have uh, Pitbull winning uh, 115 to 113 or, or, or seven rounds to five. What? You know, but I'm not mad at this result because there was a lot of swing rounds that could have went Ryo's way, and you know, it depends on what you look for, what you pre what you prefer from 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 your boxers. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not one of those that think that every fight that doesn't go the way that I think is is, is a robbery. You know what I'm saying? There's such things as swing rounds, or such things as very close fights that could go either way, and I think this is a demonstration of that, man. You know, I personally had people winning a very close fight, but I'm not mad at the result, man. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not mad because I said this too before. You know, it was I was real disappointed in in, in the boxing community. You know what I'm saying? I was disappointed in in, in some of us. Man, there was a lot of talk uh, questioning uh, uh, Ryo's uh, uh, um, heritage and stuff like that in his culture. People are saying, oh, he's not a real Mexican. Shut up, bitch. Oh, my God. Like what? Like what? Do you, what do you talk about? He's not a real Mexican, man. I don't, I don't care if he was born in, in 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 Tijuana. I don't care if he was born in New York City. I don't care if he was born in Guadalajara or, or Lagos, Nigeria. It's it's about what, what what blood flows through your veins. You know what I'm saying? I'm Jamaican, Nigerian, and American, bro. You take the Jamaican out of me. I'm no longer myself. Yeah. You take the Nigerian out of me, I'm no longer myself. Yeah. You take the American out of me, I'm no longer myself. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I've been in Nigeria, born in Nigeria, uh, lived and was raised in Jamaica, or born in America. It doesn't matter. That's who I am. That's what my parents blood the, the blood of my parents is flowing through my veins you know what i'm saying so for people to use that to try to criticize rio venezuela that made me root for him you know what i'm saying even though I'm, i like people more but that made me that made me root for the young man you know what i'm saying you don't question nobody heritage just because how you feel you know what i'm saying find another way to pick a side you know what i'm saying so i, I just thought that was very corny and and i'm happy for rio you know he did the thing you know he lost to with los santos back in the past you know yeah he, uh, he lost a questionable decision to chris colbert that he ended up avenging you know what I'm saying shout out to him and um you know i i just doubt I I had my doubts when it came to uh, Rayo Valenzuela being able to box Isak Cruz head off like he did, you know, in, in spurts. Like I said, I think Isak Cruz applied his pressure. That's what he's very good at. He did, he did that exceptionally well. You know, he's a one-dimensional fighter, but that one dimension that he has, that pressure, it, it, it complements his durability, his exceptional durability. So I thought that Isak Pippa Cruz did his thing. I just didn't have confidence that Valenzuela would be able to, you know, withstand that relentless pressure of people and he did and you know so shout out to him now i will say this though too you know what, what also surprised me is that you know if you watch rio venezuela i challenge anybody to show me you know where rio doesn't engage you know he always ends up in a fight and that's why i was so confident about people winning because i was like man if he engages in a firefight with Isaac people cruz he's gonna lose that you know and but but you know shout out to robert garcia he i think he's an exceptional trainer always has a fire stable you know back in his mikey garcia and brandon rios days you know mikey Gar uh, robert garcia is a beast of a trainer and they implemented a game plan and ryo went out there and executed the game plan you can even see if you watch that fight look closely ryo sometimes he was kind of caught in between, like, man, I want to, I want to punch this dude back, you know, I want to engage, I want to exchange, you know, because that's what you can tell he's a fighter, that's what he likes to do. But, but he fought, he fought that urge, and and he outboxed him, and he kept his distance when, 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 when possible, and he got about, he he, he uh, refrained from staying on the ropes too long, and yeah, man, he just used. A lot of times he used Pitbull's momentum against him, and I, I really applaud him. Like I said, even though, despite me having Pitbull winning by like, two rounds, you know, I feel like he did enough to keep his belt at 140. I'm not mad at this shakeup, bro. The 140-pound division has been shaken up again, has been shook up again, man. You know, Devin Haney, uh, even though he got cheated by Ryan Garcia, you know, he, he, he was declared a champion in recess, you know, so uh, he, he lost his belt, and yeah, I think Alberto Puello is a champion right now. You know, he's about to face Sandor Martin. Um, and then, so we have Alberto Puello as a champion at 140. We have Liam Parro traveling to Puerto Rico's backyard. You know, uh, Liam Parro, I mean, Liam Parro traveling to Subaru Matias' backyard in Puerto Rico and beating him. So he, that's a change. And then we also have at 140, we have, um, you know, Teofimo Lopez, of course. 
he's the champion there. And then um, who's the other champion at 140? We had Alberto Puelo, Liam Paro, um, Jose Rayo Valenzuela now, and Teofimo Lopez. So, bro, all those champions changed. You know, so Eastside Pippa Cruz was a champion. Rayo took that. You know, um, uh, Devin Haney lost lost his champion because he was declared a champion to recess. So Alberto Puelo has that now. And Liam Paro went in and beat Subaru Matias from Australia. You know, so it's Liam Paro from Australia went to Puerto Rico and beat Subaru Matias. So we had a major shakeup in the division. The only one that's still the same champion from this year at the beginning of the year is Teofimo Lopez in the 140 pound division. So I think that's dope, man. I like I like the shakeup. But I will say this though, I'm very happy for Ryo Venezuela. And um, yeah, I was wrong about this one though, man. You know, I, I called, I thought Pitbull was gonna win. I did say it was gonna be a close fight. I did say it was gonna be the most competitive fight. I'm, hey, I, hey, it's windy out here, man. I love it, man. It feels good. I love the breeze. But um, yeah, I, I, I said the upset. <clears throat> I got the upset right about Martin Bacoli. I said that was going to be the only upset, but of course Andy Ruiz. I thought Andy Ruiz would beat Jarrell Big Baby Miller, but that was a draw. So I got, I guess I got that wrong too. You know, I thought Andy Ruiz was going to win. That was a draw, even though I feel like Jarrell Big Baby Miller actually won. I feel like that draw was a robbery uh, uh, for Miller. But however, I did call the Martin Bacoli one right, but this one Eastside Pippa Cruz I got wrong, man. I would like to see a rematch, but it is what it is. We'll see how it goes, man. Big salute to Ryo Venezuela. You know what I'm saying? He proved all the all the haters wrong and all the doubters wrong. You know what I'm saying? So big salute to Ryo Venezuela, man. I thought he did this thing, man. I'm happy for the young man. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Who'd you have winning? Do you think the right person won? Do you think Pitbull could bounce back? I think Pitbull could bounce back. But it, it, it's, it's going to be tough now because, you know, he struggled with uh, Rayo Valenzuela and he struggled with Giovanni Cabrera. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 I think, I think the, ver the the blueprint is out on how to beat him and how to figure out his his, his relentless pressure. But I still think he had to be very skilled to do so. So I have confidence in him. And plus, he can always move back to 130, move back down to 135. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Um, yeah, man, how, how long do you think you think Rayo Valenzuela? So it's gonna be a champion for a long time, or do you think it's just a matter of time? It's gonna be a short reign. I don't know, man. I, th I think I'm excited to see it, regardless how it goes. But he's a, he's a great fighter, exciting fighter, so I'm happy for him. But y'all be easy, take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.